Welcome to the App 1.61 tutorial videos. Thanks for choosing Firewalla. With this release, you can now control app usage duration for each of your users with activity time limits. You can add a limit directly from the user's detail page. Tap on users from your box's main screen. Choose a user, I'll select Annie. And then scroll down and tap add time limit. Make sure time limit is selected as the action then select an app, I'll choose YouTube, and set a daily or weekly time limit. If you choose every week, the limit will apply to each day individually, but I'll just do every day for one hour. Tap done, and then save to confirm. Another way to set a time limit is through setting a new rule. Tap on rules from your box's main screen then tap Add Rule. Choose Time Limit as the action, then select an app. I'll choose Fortnite, select a user, I'll choose Annie again, and then set a limit. I'll do every day for two hours. Additionally, we've now added app usage information to devices and device groups. Tap the Devices button on your box's main page, then tap on a device or a device group. If we detect any app activity over the past seven days, you'll see an Activities tab, which will display when and for how long certain apps and sites were used. Tap Activities to see a detailed breakdown of app usage. We'll continue to expand our list of apps that you can track and limit with Firewalla, so stay tuned for more updates soon. Firewalla's new System Vulnerability Scan helps you discover weak credentials on commonly used ports by checking each port's protections against our database of common username and password pairs. To start a System Vulnerability Scan, tap Scan on your box's main screen, then tap Scan System Vulnerabilities. Depending on your network's complexity, this scan can take a while to run, but Firewalla will send you a notification once the scan is done. The app will then display a list of any weak usernames and passwords on your device's ports. Firewalla's control buttons now always match the current status of the target, helping you quickly and accurately tell whether a target is blocked. For example, I have a scheduled rule on this user that blocks TikTok from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. every day. During this time frame, the TikTok control button will display as blocked. I can pause this rule by tapping the button. With this update, you can easily see what level each rule is at. For example, my device Annie's iPhone belongs to a user that has gaming blocked. Additionally, I have a Snapchat block applied to all devices. I can easily turn on a block by tapping the control button and selecting a duration. I can block all internet access on just Annie's iPhone in a couple of taps. The control buttons on each device, group, or network's detail pages will also always match the current status of the target. I'll tap into Annie's iPhone as an example. I can see that internet and gaming blocks are on, and if I tap into app control, I can see that Snapchat is blocked as well. To make controlling access on your network easier and faster, you can now add a rule to your box's main screen. To do this, tap on your rule from the rules list. Then scroll down and tap add to main screen. You'll see the rule appear above your pinned and recent devices. Tap the switch to pause or resume the rule. The on and off status of the switch only indicates whether the rule is paused or not, so scheduled rules will still only be active during their scheduled time. To easily see all your similar devices in one place, you can now group them by device type. Tap on devices from your box's main screen then tap the sorting icon on the top right of the screen. Tap group by device type to list devices together by type. You can see that my devices are now listed by device type, so I have personal devices, home and IoT devices, network devices, and other devices.